Hey y'all, guess what I'm doing today? I am going to be spray painting my microwave. As you can see, my walls are now a teal uh, blue color and uh, my microwave is red. It used to go with my red uh, wall that was all over the house that was giving me bad vibes. So I said, okay, what I'm gonna do with this microwave after I had them all, got all the red off the wall, I'm stuck with a red microwave now. Well, I gonna buy a new one? I think not. That's why this microwave was like $70, like $69.99 plus tax, $70, no hell. I was not gonna buy no new one, so, and this microwave was only like a year old. So, what I'm gonna do is, as you can see, I already put a, a plastic bag down here um, just to catch, you know, any dirt or whatever. I'm not gonna spray paint it in the house, y'all. Don't worry, I'm just gonna show you the first step. So, um, what I got right here is some regular, regular paper, some old paper that I ain't using no more. And I'm just gonna put this on the microwave to line it up. Just gonna tear off the excess, what I don't need. Like right there, I don't need that extra part. So I'm gonna tear that off. And, or oh, actually I ain't gotta tear it off, I'll just fold it up. Fold that up and put that right there like that. And look, the microwave is already like a dark color right here. So if I accidentally get in it, any of the paint on it by accident, then it ain't no big deal. You feel me? So I'm just gonna um I'm gonna take my gloves off for a minute and then just gonna put this on there real quick. This tape this up. And I try to leave the tape on the inside of the microwave as much as possible. Try to tape all that up so the you know the spray paint won't get onto that or what I'm doing won't get onto it. So all you need is a can of spray paint. If you want, I'm only painting the front part of the microwave. So all I need is one can of spray paint. And the type of spray paint I will be using is um, Rust-Oleum two times ultra cover paint and primer all in one. Make sure you get the one that's paint and primer if you're going to be doing this project. Um, because you want it to, you want to make sure that you get your surface primed. I think I need to come down a little bit with this. I mean, go up a little bit, and then it don't matter how you fold it, child. It's just paper. It's gonna be thrown in the garbage afterwards. You can get you some scissors and cut it if you want to be precise. You can get you some scissors, but uh, I, I ain't trying to do all that. So I'm going to just tear me another piece off and tape as close to the, stay inside of the thing on the microwave. I don't know if your microwave got like a little dip in it or whatever. Um, I don't know. Most people I know got black microwaves or white microwaves already, even black, white, or silver. But I always be trying to be different and I'm going to go get me a red microwave so it can go to you know, the color of the house and things and whatnot, but now I want a different color, and I didn't think about that when I got the microwave that, hey, one day you might change, but because I didn't really think one day I was going to, I wouldn't, I was going to change because my little one let me do what I want to do in here. Finally, well, it ain't like he wouldn't let me, we just didn't come to an agreement on what color, but then, I don't know, something hit him and said, hey, just let her do what she want to do. And then he realized that that was the best idea he could have ever had because, you know, you know the saying, a happy wife, a happy life, that's true, honey. That is true. And I don't ever, don't ever think that's not true because it's true. Make me happy, then, you know, you're going to do better. You're going to feel better about yourself. <laughs> okay, y'all, so I'm done uh, taping the microwave and papering it up. So the next thing I do is I'm going to sand it. As you can see right here, I had already started sanding it. And I just wanted to see if it worked, y'all, um, if I had the right sandpaper. So I don't know what grit this is. Hold on. It don't say. It says abrasive paper number 240. Um, so I guess that's the grit, 240 grit, whatever. Um, so I, I, think, I, I think that do matter, though. So 240 grit is what I got. This came from the one dollar tree, the dollar tree, and I got like a bunch of sheets in here, um, sandpaper sheets for um, one dollar. Different grits too, all of them ain't the same. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start sanding this microwave down, make sure I've got my gloves on. That's the reason why I put this plastic bag down under here to catch it because 
I actually just painted this microwave stand so I don't want to ruin any paint. You know, it ain't gonna ruin, it's gonna be like dust anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and sand this down, y'all. And then we're gonna get to get to work, get to work, hey. As you can see, it's doing that. It's just actually rubbing that layer of red off. And thankfully, this microwave is only red on the front door. The rest of the microwave is um, all black. So all I have to paint is the door part, okay? coming off that's what that's what it's paint spray paint so so i'm just once i get that i'm gonna fold that back and just keep going to the rest make sure i um get all of the red as much as i can see all of it even down in that line but that way None of that red won't try to pop back through later. And you get a black something, you get a black spray paint something to stick to. Okay, y'all see the difference between this and this? This is sanded. And that is it. Also, I'm done sanding the microwave. It only took me two of these sheets that I got from the Dollar Tree. Two sheets and I still got a whole pack left to do a whole bunch of other stuff with y'all so as you got to see it's dusty and it looked like uh like it's faded so I'm only gonna get I got a, a, a napkin here and I got just plain water on it and I'm gonna wipe it down try to get all the dust off that I can all the dust from the the old red paint I'm gonna wipe that down real good this is just plain water, y'all. That's it. Just to get the dust off. Make sure you set white in every spot that you sand it. So that way when you go to spray paint, all of that dust will be gone. So all of that. And when you get done wiping it with the water, Wait till the water dry, and when you get done, when the water get done drying, I'm gonna just use this side of the dry napkin here. Try to dry it off a little faster. And when you're done with all of that, make sure you, you're rubbing it kind of, you know, with a little bit of tension, of course, uh, kind of hard. So you wanna make sure you're getting all of that off. See that red? Make sure you're getting it all off. Then, once you get done wiping it down with just water and then a dry cloth, come back with another cloth and you got your, your alcohol. I got 91% isopropyl alcohol here and I'm just going to rub it down with the alcohol to make sure I don't have any oils or anything on it. Now, since this got to be picked up and taken outside, it, I'm going to have to wipe it down with alcohol again once I get it outside. So. That's what's gonna happen uh, next. See, cause it still had, you know, red on it. Got to make sure I wipe it good so I can get it in there. Make sure I get as much off as I can. Try to get it all off. Rub it in there good with that alcohol. Next step is to take it outside. See that? I'll do it one more time on the other side. Okay, y'all. So now I'm outside. I got my son to put the vacuum cleaner. The vacuum cleaner, girl. The, 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 the what is it? The microwave here. And I got it tilted back in the chair so that way it could be like facing kind of up. 
hopefully it won't fall and I got my spray paint like I told you before the two times ultra cover paint and primer by Rust-Oleum and this is in gloss black okay you guys so I am going to this is microwave we got vents on the side I didn't tape them up or nothing because I'm not going back there but I'm gonna just hold this bag here on the side of it Let's see if I can get the whole thing and get the hold this on the side of it just so it won't go back in there but that's not my angle to spray the side of the microwave at all so if you gonna spray paint your whole microwave you want to tape off all of those vents on the um the back the sides the top and all of that okay but i'm only doing the front door so i ain't gonna worry about it now take this can up good i always spray a little bit before since it's my first time spraying it and i'm just gonna try to do a smooth even coat Well, that's getting black quick. Y'all see that? Ooh. Oh. I'm just dripping kind of like right there. I want to take this bag and just see if I can. Oh man, maybe I shouldn't get that, but take this alcohol pad and wipe it. I want it, I want it to be smooth. I'm just gonna kind of blend that in and spray it in. Other side. So this vent up on the other side. That's it, y'all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, let that dry. I'm gonna let that dry for about two hours two hours and then I'm gonna come back out and paint it again and then that's gonna be it you guys let me see oh I, uh oh I see some red right there okay I think I got it try to get as much of it as possible I'm gonna have a brand new microwave Okay, y'all, so it's been about three days now. I let it sit outside two times um, just so it can the, the sun can shine on it and it could, like, dry all the way through. Um, the first day, I let it sit outside for about five hours, and then I brought it back inside. I sat it here, kept the paper on it, didn't let nobody use it, and then I, I had the ceiling fan on all night long, and then I um, took it back outside the next day and let it sit like in the real real hot sunshine for about five or six hours it was already dry i just wanted to make sure sure because you know just to make sure because it's a microwave where people touch it all the time so this is what it looks like and i'm going to take the paper off now the paper i left the paper on here because i didn't want nobody to use it i let people know don't touch okay so this is what it looks like Brand new black microwave, <laughs> and I didn't have to go out and buy now. All this just need to be clean and wiped down, and good to go. Good to go. Everything feels like it's like sealed, and I don't feel like nothing to scrape off or none of that. And good to go. So that is how you spray paint a microwave. Thank you guys so much for watching. And that's all I got to say in this video, and I will holler at y'all later. Bye.